I hope YouTube. So in this video today, something that little bit different <coughs> to what I've done before. And I'm opening it up to you guys. The point to this isn't to see who's the most expensive, who charges the most. Uh, what I'd like for you to do is basically just reply honestly. If you can, even if you don't want to give prices, just discuss the points that have been mentioned in each video. So, what I've done is, is there's five scenarios. So I've called this little mini series, the price is right, or is it? Now, you will decide. So I heard a word of Reese about this, and I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this video up first, and then me and Reese are gonna then meet up at some point and do the price is right challenge. Uh, or the, you know, the, the thing, the chat, the price is right thing do that and then you know i'll probably put just the price is right segment up and then you can either download it and use it as a template on your video or you can just reply to it as i said so what is the price is right first off the price is right or is it this is the thing now what i want you to do is two things one is to sort of not necessarily see what other people are charging but the properties that i've picked i think a couple of them are going to be where actually we're all probably going to be similar in price there's a couple that where there might be difference and this is one that's an outlier where you know it could go either way and in each scenario so there's five scenarios with five different people I've managed to rope in four different voice actors for each one and I've voiced over one of them so there's five and then it's not just the lawn it's the other stuff that goes with it when you quote it's the little things that will catch you out so basically there's five people telling you what they want so what I've done is I've got five images of gardens um, some of them of what I've done before in the past some of them are google images some of them are just images are ripped off the internet uh, estate agents whatever and then the idea is is that you look at each one and then basically price it up so the customer will tell you what they want i think all of them are fortnightly cut i think one bloke's trying to be a bit of a chancer um, and then it's up to you to basically go off the pictures uh, and the sort of you know description the description is what it is so one person might go into detail and tell you about the parking another one it's left to your own intuition but the obstacles will be laid out there's no trick so it's not like one of them's a lawn and it's in the absolute middle of nowhere and again we're working on the basis that it's a garden in your area that you'll cover under your round that you'll be happy to do there is one of them that i'll be honest with you i've deliberately made him to be an arsehole and that might get people where they might be like well no i don't want to work there the bloke's an arsehole and that's fine that is fair more than fair and again it's there is testing situations there's straightforward situations but the point behind them is is where people can say well no this bloke sounds about a handful i'll price it for that reason this one's got poor access i will price it for that reason it's not necessarily uh, because when i do it with reese i will be i'm not testing him but i will be saying to him well is that including if you've got to come back for this reason or parking shit so that's it guys that's the first sort of thing to it i will post this part and then the actual price is rice bit to it and i know if you can just comment down below so one to five how much you'd be at each scenario uh, and just discuss each one because there's some in, in there's some points that are made i won't spoil it but there's one where it's a straightforward job but there's one big obstacle all the way through the bloke sounds an arsehole and that could come to affect you when you do the pricing um so yeah let me know how you get on guys have a good day
as you can see, it's nice and straightforward. So, what am I after? I just want the garden keeping on top of. Nothing magical. So, access wise, we've got a gennel down the side of my house. It's through the neighbours. I don't get on with him at all, but that's besides the point. So, parking wise, you need to park on the main road. There is a car park. It's a private car park just up the road. But don't worry love, I park there no problem at all. So as you can see, it's just a very, very small lawn. Now, I am on a pension, mind, but I do want a good job doing of it. You can park on my driveway, nice and straightforward. I've got no pets. The gate is open all the time, just reach over. I'm not fussed when you do it, but I am on my pension. I ideally want it doing once every two weeks. How much just for a cut what you see there? Thank you. Are you the gardener? Brilliant. So, lawn, straightforward. Nothing to worry about here. This is my pride and joy. I don't get much time <coughs> to mow it. So I'm sure you'll find it more than capable. Now, I get the Green Finger a team to come in and sort me, I mean the lawn out, every three months. So it does grow quite quickly. Don't worry about it drying out. There's plenty of water in this here ground. I want it mowing every two weeks. That's every two weeks. Also, parking wise, straightforward. No problem at all here, mate. You can park on me drive, but just be careful. I've just had a brand new patio. It's white porcelain, so be very careful with it. How much every two weeks? Oh, brilliant. You've turned up on time. The last gardener we used to have, he was always running late. We could never seem to get hold of him. So... As you can tell, nice and straightforward. I, I like to think I'm Mr. Simple, put it that way. Everything here is easy as can be. So, when do you reckon you can slot it in for us? Oh, yep, the grass, two cuts I'd like. There's two lawns. Cut it once a fortnight for me, please, mate. Now, I like it as short as possible. Shave it. Get it nice and close for us. So, parking, not a problem. Park outside. Neighbours are a bit funny, so you can park on my driveway, but there's only enough room for me and the missus. But you can come whenever you want, matey, at all. No problem at all. If you want to tip up whenever, you can come. We're fine. But I'm off for drive Wednesday, so if you can come on a Wednesday, that'll be even better for me. So, as I said, cut it down nice and short for me. Access-wise, unfortunately, you're going to have to come through the house. That's not going to be a problem for you, though, is it? Now, I have had new hardwood floors, so please just mind them. All right, mate. As you can tell, it's a bit of a, a bit overgrown, shall I say. Now, I've just moved in, so it's got a couple of weeks' growth on top of it. I'm wondering... If you could just come and just give it a cut for me, mate. Get the edge all tidied up. And then probably looking at coming back once every four to six weeks if you can. Or what? Well, whatever you'd recommend, matey. Uh, no idea what's back there. Parking wise, uh, there's plenty of room on the road. It is a bit busy, so just tuck your wind mirror in. But you should be all right. There is a set of steps just in front of the house. But... Again, don't worry about that. Light work for somebody of your size. So, how much please, mate?